Okay, so if you're pretty good in basic math, well, this should be an easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the question. A farmer has four and two thirds acres of land for growing corn and two and one half times as many for growing wheat. How many acres are for the wheat? All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so let's take one more look at the problem. So a farmer has four and two-thirds acres of land for growing corn and two and one-half times as many for growing wheat. How many acres are for the wheat? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is 11 and two-thirds acres. All right, now, if you did not use a calculator and you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Now, it's possible that you have an answer that is uh, equivalent to 11 and, and uh, 2 thirds. We'll talk about that in just one second. But if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally confused. Can you help me out? Well, this is not that difficult, and I definitely can. So the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. And the best way of doing that is to read a problem at least three times. Make sure you understand all the information and the specific question being asked. Okay, so we have this farmer that has four and two thirds acres of land for growing corn. Now, just in case you don't know what an acre is, that's just a, a typical type of way of measuring the area of land. All right, so it's just a standard unit of measure, but uh, even if you didn't know what an acre is, you could still figure out this problem. Okay, so the farmer has four and two thirds acres of land for growing corn and two and one half times, and this is a key word right here, for growing wheat. So the question is, how many acres are for growing wheat? Okay, so once you understand the question and all the information, what you wanna do is try to model the problem. So this is the way that I'm kind of thinking of it. So here is our land or our uh, acres of land for growing corn. So again, the farmer has four and two thirds acres of land for growing corn. Now the farmer has more land for growing wheat. How much uh, more land? Well, two and one half times more for growing wheat. So the question is, how many acres uh, are for the wheat? Okay, so again, right here we have a key word and that is times. So what do you think that means in mathematics? Now, if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think that means like the times table or the multiplication table. Well, you would be correct. So we're talking about multiplication. So if we take this four and two thirds and we multiply it by two and one half, we're going to uh, figure out how many acres are for the wheat. Okay, so we're talking about a simple um, fraction multiplication problem now to get the answer. All right, so we have four and two thirds times two and one half. So if we can do this without a calculator, we will have solved the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this right now. Okay, so here again is our problem. And remember, we're not using a calculator. So how do we multiply four and two thirds times two and one half? Well, this is not that difficult. And the key to uh, doing this is to change these mixed number fractions into improper fractions. So I'm kind of using some fancy uh, terms here, but uh, basically we need to write these fractions right here. Again, these are called mixed number fractions because you have a whole number and then like a little small fraction like this. So we want to uh, write these fractions in this manner. Okay, so four and two thirds is equivalent to the fraction 14 thirds. Now the way we change a mixed number fraction into an improper fraction is to take this little denominator right here. So that's three, multiply it by four. So three times four is 12 plus two is 14. So we're gonna put that number over this denominator. So four and two thirds is equivalent to the fraction 14 thirds. Again, uh, this is called an improper fraction. I'm sorry, this is called a mixed number fraction, and this is called an improper fraction. So these are equivalent, but uh, notice here, an improper fraction, the numerator is greater than the denominator. Okay, so this is gonna make our life much easier when we multiply these fractions. So in two and one half is equivalent to five halves. And again, 
all we need to do, all we need to do is take this two, multiply by that two. So two times two is four plus one is five over two. Okay, so now we have 14 thirds times five halves. And to do this multiplication, it is very easy. So to multiply fractions, all you have to do is simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 14 times five is 70 and three times two is six. And actually this is the correct answer, 70 over six acres. But uh, if you have this, by the way, as your answer, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. But uh, what we wanna do here is make this number a little bit easier to interpret in terms of how many acres are for growing the wheat. So we're gonna uh, change this improper fraction into or back into a mixed number fraction. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. So the final step to solve this problem and really this is kind of an optional step, is to take our answer, which is 70 over six. Again, this is the correct answer. The farmer has 70 over six acres for growing wheat, but uh, we wanna write this in a better way or an easier way to interpret. So we're going to change this improper fraction back to a mixed number fraction. Now, if we take a look at this fraction, we have 70 over six or 70 divided by six. Remember the fraction bar is the same thing as the division operation. So 70 over six means take 70 and divide it by six. So we're going to have to do some division here to change this uh, fraction or this improper fraction back into a mixed number fraction. Okay, so 70 divided by six. And remember, we're not using a calculator here, but uh, here is the work. Okay, so I'm not uh, gonna go through the step-by-step, step, but uh, hopefully you know how to divide. So here's 70, we're going to uh, take that and divide it by six. So six goes into seven one time, one times six is six. We're going to subtract, so that's going to be one. Six can't go into one, so we're gonna drop down to zero. Six goes into 10 one time, so one times six is six. We're going to subtract that from 10, and we're going to have four. Six can't go into four. So that is our remainder. So it's 11 uh, with remainder four. But uh, what we're gonna do here is take that remainder and put it over uh, this number here as our denominator. So this is, go this is gonna be four over six. And we can reduce this fraction down to two thirds. So our final answer is 11 and two thirds acres. Okay, so again, we're talking about basic math here and fractions. You definitely need to know how to work with fractions at all levels of mathematics. So that means you're going to have to know how to multiply mixed number fractions. And to do that, you're going to have to be uh, pretty comfortable with changing fractions from improper fractions to mixed number fractions and vice versa. But uh, again, if there's anything here that you don't understand, just kind of identify that and continue to uh, work on building up your math skills one step at a time. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you wanna review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm gonna leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.